Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In today's update, we're going to be talking about the spring forward forecast as I walk you through the next 10 days. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel and definitely share with your friends on social media. All right, so let's get started. So let's start off with the overall uh, height anomalies. This is what it kind of looks like from up above. Uh, we've had a very active week as far as uh, severe weather goes in the United States, and especially if we had that tornado outbreak in Tennessee. But now we have a developing uh, trough that we're going to be looking at by Friday. We've got a ridge that starts to really start to develop over the central part of the U.S., but the main focus will be this trough as this deepens out, out uh, towards uh, South Carolina and brings much below uh, average temperatures to the southeast. Now by Sunday, this will actually swing up the northeast coast and miss the northeast. So no snow for you guys from the northeast as this system remains offshore, but it does deepen and more or less what they call bomb out and drop down to about a 970 millibar. So it may actually even miss uh, Nova, Nova Scotia, but New, New, Newfoundland will be get hit on the action. And if, if I'm expecting at least eight to 10 inches of snow in Newfoundland from this system. But if we take it out another frame, by Tuesday, we saw that high pressure start to build over the central U.S. and will expand to the northeast and bring much above average temperatures to uh, about two thirds of the country by, by Tuesday. And if we take a look out west, we have another develop, developing trough that's gonna be digging in off the California coast and bringing some welcome rain to Southern California uh, by Monday and Tuesday of this upcoming week. And if we take it out another frame by Friday, it more or less uh, expands, that, that high pressure just more or less expands over a good chunk of, of the U.S. and bringing much above uh, average temperatures. And by Sunday, now we look at that high, high pressure system. Of course, this is 10 days away now. Uh, the high pressure system over the Northeast and still bringing much above average temperatures uh, to the Southern and Southeast and Northeastern part of the U.S. And now we have to look at a developing trough. And of course, this is 10 days from now that might be digging in from the Northwest. If we take a look at the overall uh, surface map, and this will kind of give you a, a different viewpoint of this uh, surface low that we talked about. Now, this will this is be uh, Saturday, two, day, two days from now, that will, that'll be digging down from uh, South Carolina. It'll be coming up the, the coast off the Northeast coast. Now it's down to a 986. It will bring some snow showers on the backside, but you'll be very clipped from this system. I'm not really expecting much much uh, from this system for the Northeast as this remains offshore. But like I was saying, by Saturday, this really deepens down to about a 970 millibar. So it essentially goes from a, a 1,005 to a 970 within a, about a 36 hour time frame. So it will do what's called a bombing out and, uh, and but it'll remain more or less offshore. But the only ones, that I'm really expecting to be impacted from this system is uh, Newfoundland and will bring anywhere from eight uh, to 10 inches uh, from this system of snow. And then by Monday, we've got that developing trough off the south, uh, off the uh, California coast that's gonna be digging in and bringing some welcome rain uh, to Southern California. And we have another system developing over uh, Texas that will bring additional rainfall probably starting uh, Sunday night and bringing a good good part of Monday, uh, some, some more rain for uh, the central U.S. into uh, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, parts of, uh, parts of Kansas as this, as this moves across. And by Wednesday, we've got that same system gonna be bringing a, another rain event. So I'm expecting a pretty, a, a fairly wet, wet reek, uh, pretty much scattered uh, throughout, but uh, some welcome rain definitely in Southern California into uh, Nevada and uh, uh, Arizona and New Mexico 
And as this system will swing across, we do have a little clipper system that might clip uh, the northeast. And by Thursday, you can see that clipper system coming in. The EPO actually goes uh, negative again. So it might try to pull down some uh, colder air aloft and kind of mix it in, mix in with some of those uh, precipitation and tr uh, transfer to uh, snow uh, for the northeast. And down south, again, more rain for the deep south. That you just can't get out of this pattern. Uh, but more not as not as heavy i'm not really expecting a severe weather week uh for, for next week but i am expecting more additional rainfall uh for parts that really don't need it uh for parts of uh, texas and much of louisiana and arkansas and uh, mississippi and alabama and georgia into the carolinas i'm expecting more additional rainfall as this system pulls through especially by saturday of course this is about eight days away from now but we have another uh, low pressure system entrenched over the southeast, bringing more heavy rainfall for that region. Now, let's take a look at the overall uh, temperature anomalies as far as uh, how far off they are uh, below or above normal. And this takes you back by Saturday where we had that developing trough that's going to be digging off the southeast coast. That's going to be bringing some much below average temperatures. Uh, for the southeast under that under that rain and under that trough so a good two-thirds of the country is going to be below normal but you look what's behind it we've got that developing ridge that's going to be start to kind of take over um, as we go throughout the week and if we take it off till till monday it kind of shows that ridge expanding to the to the northeast and now we go from you know 50 degrees on friday in washington dc to the 70s if you can believe that in washington dc as as the temperatures are, will pull 15 to 20 degrees above normal so even if it's you know five to seven seven degrees uh, above normal in texas it's about the same temperatures but uh this is far above average in washington dc compared to uh, the dallas fort worth area but as this, as we go throughout the week, you can see that ridge just kind of expand and spring fever is in full effect uh, by the 11th as the ridge just kind of expands over the central U.S. and deepens and brings much above average temperatures. Now we're talking, you know, 10 to 15 degrees above average for a good chunk uh, of the U.S. But if we take it by, take it into Friday, we see that developing a high pressure even intensify more over the central U.S. And now we're talking, you know, instead of 10 to 15, even parts of 20 to 25 degrees above average temperatures. But you can see this below average temperatures kind of stand out. This is what we talked about. The, uh, the EPO does go negative and it tries to pull in some colder air aloft and mix it in with some of that precip could bring some snow for you guys in the northeast so of course this is a a week away from now but we'll be watching the trends on this but by uh, by sunday it's pretty much all gone so it'll be a a quick hit maybe thursday friday into saturday saturday morning if it does transpire but that it won't last long because that ridge will move in fairly quick and bring again you know 10 to 15 degrees above average temperatures for uh next sunday and as you can see we have another trough trying to dig in uh by by the middle of the month now if we take a look at the actual uh, NOAA outlook and they're pretty much on board with this and so this will take you through uh march 10th through the 14th i know we spring forward around the 8th and a lot of you guys are probably going to be off for spring break uh next week and it'll be uh, much above average for a good chunk of the U.S. And here's the precipitation outlook, bringing that welcome, welcome rain for uh, Southern California, where you've been fairly dry. I know it was kind of a, a wet start to December, but it's been overall fairly dry as a lot of your systems have been uh, further, further north. But it will bring some welcome rain into Southern California for the uh, for the southwest and nevada and parts of um, arizona and but you can see a good chunk of the country is going to be ab above average precipitation uh for the week as it mixes in with some of those warmer temperatures 
Now, if we take a look at the actual rainfall as far as the euro model it's pretty much on board too it shows that above average precipitation for that southern california region filtering into the south southwest but all the places that are well above average for the start of the year are going to even be getting more rain and it'll be scattered in nature probably not as heavy as it was last week or not as severe but again additional you know one to two and spots two to three up to four inches of rain and parts of the southeast going into the Ohio Valley and eventually filtering into parts of the Mid-Atlantic. Now, if we take the actual uh, snowfall outlook, it does have some snow for the northwest where it's more or less going to be in the uh, higher elevations in the mountains. But as you can see, this kind of stands out for the northeast. Now, a lot of this is going to be not until a week away, but uh, it does have the EPO uh, going negative, it tries to pull down some of that colder air and mix it in. So we'll just have to see and watch this play out. But this will be Thursday, Friday, and a probably Saturday morning snowfall uh, for the Northeast. So that'll kind of give you a, a timeline of what how it's going to transpire over the next 10 days. I know, uh, I know this is pretty much one of my favorite times of the year. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite time of the year is. I I appreciate you guys watching and definitely like this video and uh, share with your friends on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell and to, to get notified when I update as I do update fairly often and catch me in the next video where I protect you before and after the storm.